Welcome to part two. In this video, we're going to be taking out all the seats. As you can probably hear the whistle, you can see the big oak moving out there. It's very windy at the farm today, so we're having a day inside and we're going to start getting the camper van a bit ready. Now, the first job is taking out all these seats and all of these bars for people to support themselves on. Well, I guess when it's packed full of people moving around the streets. Right, first task. Get all these bottom seats out here. So instantly the seats are looking like it's going to be a lot easier to take out than we originally anticipated. They've all just got a couple of bolts, hold them in the bottom. It's a sin. The uh, covers come off really easy. Now we can just quick time unscrew all these and then we should have all of this bottom bit out in no time at all. Stu's working away with the ratchet upstairs. I'm stuck with this. Slow but easy. Only another 30 to go. Got the back seats out. A little bit of rubbish and a little bit of rust behind them. Nothing that's not fixable though. Let's head upstairs and have a little look what Stu's up to. Under here, undoing bolts at the edge as you can see. I'll go over here. We've got bolts like that on this edge. And little bolts on the bottom there. These ones are fairly simple to undo as well. Get all these top ones out next. So here we go, all the seats and all the ironworks out now. Loads of space. And we've got quite a bit of it out from downstairs as well. All the ironworks out. Just these last little bits along the edge here to come out. And then uh, a few more bits of plastic along the edge. Like these sort of trim bits that are all around the windows. We're going to take all those out so we can sort the windows out, make sure we've got no leaks. And then we're about there for taking stuff out. Stop getting the, all these rusty bits that you can see at the back there. We've got a couple upstairs as well. Get all those sorted out, get them painted. And then we can start throwing some framework in. Look at this E Man strength. Certainly fixed on well the first time. Got all the plastic off and the light fitting out of this side. Loads of old bits. I say old bits. Essential parts of the fabric of the bus have been exposed. So steel for the floor upstairs, steel on the wall, which makes it a bit easier for us to uh, attach stuff to. Lots of anchor points, basically. Unfortunately, though, there is lots and lots of stuff like this in the in the cavities of the wall. So we've got old electrics for all the old lights and all these heaters that are in place. But we're gonna be disusing most of these, so we're just gonna disconnect the points like that, tuck all the wires away, and just keep sort of the, the main trunk lines, if you can see those two there, they're for the starter motor on off, and basically engine electrics, that's what we're keeping. Lights, engine electrics, that's the only electrics we'll be keeping. Everything else we shall be taking out, or just tucking away in the wall and forgetting about. So we're about there, most of the destruction's complete now. We've got all the uh, back seats out, all the top seats out, a lot of the plastic off the sides, as you can see here. A lot of the metal's exposed now, so we're about ready to clean this up, get the rusty bits painted, and then start framing it up. So that's it for now. Catch us in the next one, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep following this series. Bye-bye.